What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you all the different ways you can make t-shirts for your t-shirt business. Let's begin. All right guys, so we're going to talk about all the different ways you can make t-shirts. We will talk about direct garment, screen printing, how to make t-shirts with a vinyl cutter, how to make t-shirts with a professional laser printer. We will talk about budget ways to make t-shirts and print on demand. We will also break down the complete process and talk about the pros and cons of each. Before we get into all of that, let's talk about how to buy blank t-shirts and the different types of shirts you can buy. There's going to be many websites where you guys can buy wholesale t-shirt blanks. In this example, we're going to use JiffyShirts.com. Just so you guys know, you don't need any kind of business license. Anyone can purchase from these sites. These sites will sell t-shirts anywhere from $1.50 all the way up to around $8. If you guys are going to be selling cheap t-shirts on eBay, you can go with something like a Gildan G500 t-shirt. These start at around $1.50. But if you guys are going to be selling high-end t-shirts for your fashion brand, it's better to go with something like a Bella Canvas or an American Apparel shirt. These are more expensive. Also, just so you guys know, white t-shirts will always be the cheapest. If you're getting black or colored t-shirts, they will be more expensive. If you guys are starting a high-end streetwear company, in my opinion, one of the best shirts you can buy is the American Apparel 2001 shirt. Now, if you guys buy this t-shirt, be very careful. They have a cheap version of it, which is called the 2001W. This is a horrible quality t-shirt. Don't buy it. It's nothing like the regular 2001 that's made in the US. T-shirts will also come in different styles, regular t-shirts and fashion t-shirts. Regular t-shirts will usually have longer sleeves and a more loose fit whereas fashion t-shirts have a short sleeve and more of a European fit. A shirt like the Gildan G500 is going to be made out of regular cotton and is going to have more of a cardboard feel to it, whereas a t-shirt like a Bella Canvas or an American Apparel is going to be made out of ring spun cotton, which means the shirt is going to be much more higher quality and is going to be much softer. Alright guys, let's talk about the different ways to make t-shirts. Just so you guys know, no matter which method you choose, you will need a heat press machine, and I'll leave a link in the description. The first way to make t-shirts is DTG printing, which stands for direct to garment printing. This means the blank t-shirt is inserted into the printer, and the printer prints directly onto the shirt. This is great for one-off prints, or if you're making t-shirts with pictures. These printers usually cost over $10,000, and one of the best printers is the Epson F2100. This is industry standard. The good thing about these printers is that you don't have to purchase them outright, you can always finance them for around $300 a month. Just so you guys know, websites that make custom t-shirts like Printful and Teespring, they all use DTG printers. These printers print extremely high quality and the image will not wash away or fade. You can also make black t-shirts without a problem. The printers also print in white color, so you can make black t-shirts. If you're printing a black t-shirt, you will print the white ink first and then the printer will print the colors on top. Each shirt will cost around $2 to print if you use factory Epson inks. Before you print on the shirt, you will also have to spray it with a pre-treating liquid. This will make the colors very bright and will also protect the shirt. You will then heat press the shirt and the shirt is ready. If you guys do buy a DTG printer, I really suggest you get a real professional heat press which costs around $1,000. So let's talk about the pros and cons of DTG printing. The pros are it prints professional quality t-shirts, very high detail, it's very easy to set up and print, it's very fast to print, you can make black t-shirts with white ink, the cost to print is very cheap, and you can make one-off t-shirts. The cons are if you have bad credit, it's going to be expensive. Next, let's talk about screen printing. Screen printing is the oldest way to make t-shirts. It's also the most popular way. Screen printing is the cheapest way to make shirts if you're mass producing one shirt. Let's talk about how screen printing works. Screen printing is not for when you're making just one shirt like DTG. It's for mass producing one t-shirt. First, you will need to buy the screen printing machine. If you guys don't plan to open up a print shop, you don't have to buy a huge one. You can buy a small one. You can get the machine for a couple hundred dollars. You will also need to buy a large format inkjet printer. You will need to buy transparent film, screens, frames, a UV light machine, and inks. The way screen printing works is that you will have to make a screen and frame for each color that's on the t-shirt. So if your shirt has four colors, you will have to make four screens and frames. The first thing you will do is divide the image by color in Photoshop, and then you will make a screen for each color layer. You will buy transparent film and then print each layer separately on your inkjet printer using black color. You will also print registration marks on each sheet so that you can align perfectly. You will then buy emulsion. You will take your screen, put emulsion on the screen, put the film on the UV machine and put the screen on top of it. You will expose the screen to UV light for a few minutes. The printed parts that did not hit the UV light will then become very fragile and you can easily wash them away with a water hose. You will then put the screens onto the screen printing machine and you will use a squeegee and apply ink to every shirt. If you guys have a large screen printing machine, you can make a lot of t-shirts very fast. Inks for screen printing are extremely cheap, so it's very cheap to make t-shirts. The cool thing about screen printing t-shirts is that you guys can also do all kinds of metal colors, metal colors such as gold, and you can also make foil t-shirts. So instead of ink, you can use glue and then apply foil and make metallic shirts. You guys can also add rhinestones if you want to make rhinestone t-shirts. Let's talk about the pros and cons of screen printing. The pros are you can start a professional t-shirt business with around $1,000. The quality of the t-shirts is going to be great and they will withstand a lot of washes. The cost to make a t-shirt is extremely cheap and you can also make all kinds of cool t-shirts like foil. The cons are if you plan to make just one t-shirt, it won't make sense because the startup time and cost is just not worth it. Which leads to the next con and that is that it takes a long time to set everything up. 
Also, screen printing can take up a lot of space and can be a messy process. Also, unlike DTG printing, which requires a digital file, you have to store your screen somewhere and that takes up space. Now, let's talk about one more thing that can be done with screen printing, which is kind of cool, and that's plastisol transfer sheets. What a plastisol transfer is, is basically a screen print that's printed on either a clear film or a white piece of paper and then sent to you and you could heat press it onto your shirt. So you don't have to actually do any of the work. The only thing that you need is a heat press machine and you're good to go. There are a lot of companies that provide this type of service and you guys can get plastisol transfers for very cheap. One color starts at around 15 cents. The only thing is you guys have to pay a $25 fee to make the screens. So if you guys don't wanna buy all the equipment, this can be a great alternative. Now the next way to make t-shirts is by using professional laser printers. So no guys, this cannot be a regular laser printer that you have at home, this has to be a special lead printer. An example is an Oki printer which prints white and color. These printers can cost up to $10,000 depending on how large they can print and whether or not they print white. Basically the way it works is that you print the design on the transfer sheet and then heat press it onto the t-shirt. You will print the design on one shirt and then heat press it onto a glue side of another sheet and then peel it and press it onto the shirt. You guys can also make metallic foil shirts this way. Simply print on one sheet, put the foil over it, press and peel the foil. The best transfer sheets in my opinion are forever transfer sheets, they're the highest quality. Let's talk about the pros and cons of laser printers. Alright guys, so the pros of laser printing is that it's fast and easy, it's not messy, and you can also make all kinds of unique designs such as gold metallic foils. The cons are obviously it's expensive, also the good quality transfer papers are not cheap. And to be honest with you guys, I prefer the results of DTG printing much more than laser. Alright, let's talk about the next way to make t-shirts, and that's with a vinyl cutter. Alright, just so you guys understand, with a vinyl cutter, you cannot make picture t-shirts. The way vinyl cutting works is you insert a sheet into the vinyl cutter, and the vinyl cutter will cut out your design. You guys can buy different color vinyls, and you can also buy unique vinyls such as glitter and metallic. You can also buy special vinyls such as 3D vinyl, where after you heat press it, the vinyl becomes puffy. You can also layer different colors together and have a multi -color Color design. You guys can also buy a cheap vinyl cutter such as the Cricut machine. The machine will come with a 3D designing software, you will simply make your stencil, you will then insert your vinyl and the machine will start cutting it out. After that you will need to weed out the parts of the image that you will not be using. You will simply take a weeding tool and remove the unnecessary parts. You will then heat press the image onto the t-shirt and your shirt is ready. Let's talk about the pros and cons of vinyl cutters. The pros are vinyl cutters are cheap and you can make great quality t-shirts easily. You can also make unique t-shirts like glow in the dark, foil and glitter shirts. The cons are you cannot print photos and unless you guys are importing from Alibaba in large quantities, the photos can be expensive. Alright guys, very quick, let's talk about how to get tags for your t-shirts. There are going to be many websites such as custom labels for you where you can order woven tags and paper tags for your t-shirts. These are very cheap, if you order in large quantities they can run as little as 10 cents per tag. You guys can choose if you want sewn on tags or if you want iron on tags. When you order your t-shirts off of Jiffy shirts, you would simply cut the tag off if it has a tag or if it has a tear away label, you just tear away the label and apply the tag. We talked about plastisol labels earlier, you guys can also order plastisol labels on websites like Etsy. You guys can get these for as little as 15 cents per label. Alright guys, very quickly I want to talk about a couple of budget ways to make t-shirts. The first way is you guys can get an inkjet printer and use transfer sheets. It's recommended that you guys get a printer that prints A3, which is larger images. You guys can get a printer such as the Epson WF7710. This is a great option. Also, this printer can be converted to a sublimation printer if you want to go that route. You can get a sublimation spray, spray it on a blank cotton t-shirt, print the sublimation print, press, and you have a sublimated t-shirt. Keep in mind this can only be done with white shirts. These printers recently went up in price, so if you guys don't plan to do sublimation, you can get any regular printer that prints A3 for cheap. When you guys print on the transfer sheets, you will use the original ink, not the sublimation ink. These are great ways to start a side hustle, but if you guys want a real t-shirt business, I suggest you save up money and go with either DTG or screen printing. Let's talk about the next way to make t-shirts and that's print on demand. This is one of the best and easiest ways to start a t-shirt business and requires no startup cost, but the catch is you guys need to be somewhat social media savvy and know how to drive traffic to your store. With print on demand, you don't have to buy any equipment or blank t-shirts. This is all done through a third party company. Whenever you get an order, they make the t-shirt and send it to the customer. Make sure the designs you guys upload are in a PNG file, which means it's a transparent. Let's talk about the pros and cons of print on demand. The pros are you guys don't have to buy any equipment or t-shirts and there's no startup cost. The cons are if you guys are making these t-shirts yourself, it will cost you a lot less. Also, you need to learn how to drive traffic through social media for this to work. Alright guys, let's talk about how to make designs for your t-shirts. If you guys know how to design t-shirts yourself, that's great, but if you guys don't, don't worry, you can go on websites such as Fiverr.com and have your designs made there. You can pay anywhere from $5 to $20 to have a design made. When you guys are finished, make sure you always get a master Adobe Illustrator file or a Photoshop PSD file. This way, if the files need to be edited, you can always do that. Alright guys, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please hit the like button and subscribe, and if you guys have any questions, please ask in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one.